A video game doesn't need to fall into the horror genre in order to be scary. In some of our favorite titles from side scrollers to action adventure to RPG games, we've witnessed some pretty terrifying moments, giving us unexpected scares in the form of surprising gameplay or cutscenes. So today we are reflecting on some of those scares with our list of the top 10 scariest moments from non-horror video games. And be warned friends, there are some spoilers on this list, although most of the games that we feature are several years old. But still, you've been warned. At number 10, Sonic Drowning. Most wouldn't imagine a Sonic video game to be scary, but ask anyone who grew up playing the Sonic Sega Genesis titles, especially the first two, and they'll likely tell you how at one point or another, the Sonic Drowning music traumatized the crap out of them. Considered one of the scariest gaming moments of that generation, when players take Sonic through the underwater portions of various stages, if he's under for too long, he'll begin to lose air, and a timer will start counting down, paired with some very nerve-wracking music. Needless to say, it's not pleasant, and Sonic Sonic Drowning is a visual that has stuck with many players fond of those original titles for years. And at number 9, Earthbound and Gygus. Earthbound is filled with surprisingly dark moments. Gygus, the final boss of the game, is memorable for many reasons, one of which is its terrifying aesthetic. Called the embodiment of evil and the universal cosmic destroyer, Gygus is a sinister alien who wants to sentence all of reality to internal infinite darkness. Many see it as a disturbing figure, and some even believe that its image is the outline of a fetus. There's a ton of theories that have spawned from the character based on why it is so evil, psychoanalyzing the villain. And interestingly enough, Gygus's image was inspired by one of the developer's childhood memories of walking into a movie theater accidentally and seeing a rape scene. And at number 8, Arkham Knight's Man Bat. DC's Batman has always been a dark character, ever since his conception in 1939. His villains are fitting of his often grim nature, with some of them looking as if they crawled out of a horror movie themselves. So it would make sense that the Arkhamverse video games would follow suit, and feature some pretty scary interpretations of the iconic characters. Enter Man Bat, a character who made an appearance in Arkham Knight and freaked the crap out of everyone. You encounter the Man Bat on a side mission called Creature of the Night, after witnessing one hell of a jump scare when accidentally coming face to face with it while soaring around Gotham. The mission takes you to Kirk Langstrom's lab, the man behind the bat creature, to discover the story behind why he is the way he is now. You end up chasing the man bat through the skies of Gotham, transforming him back to his human form via an antidote that you need to administer several times, each just as horrifying as the last. And at number 7, Max Payne and his nightmares. Being a Rockstar game, it shouldn't be much of a surprise that Max Payne pushed boundaries at the time of its release. The game begins with us seeing his six month old dead daughter. While that one could take the cake, one of the other more intensive moments in the title is when Max begins to have terrifying nightmares, thanks to the murder of his wife and daughter at the hands of junkies using a new experimental drug. It takes the game in a very different direction, with the player gaining a sense of helplessness as Max navigates what feels like a horrifying funhouse, structured all around the things that he's lost, especially his baby daughter. And don't even get us started on the sound design either, it's some freaky stuff. And at number 6, GTA 5's Ghost Woman. Speaking of Rockstar games, the Grand Theft Auto series is yet another title to push boundaries, although it rarely ventures into horror territory. But sometimes certain side missions have an air of mystery to them, like the unnamed side mission in which you solve a murder around Lenora Johnson, a Vinewood starlet who was abducted, tortured, and murdered by Peter Dreyfus in 1975. She was heavily mutilated with her hands and feet cut off, incisions on her body, portions of her thighs sliced off, parts of her face missing, and more. You later find evidence that it was Peter who confessed what he did in the letter, claiming it was for artistic purposes. He also sent pieces of her body to her family, also for artistic inspiration. The letter has been torn up in 50 scraps of paper that you find, and as Franklin, a new mission is unlocked in which you can confront him and even instate some vigilante justice if you so choose. Moving on to number 5, Arkham Asylum Scarecrow. Throughout the game, you experience three scarecrow hallucinations courtesy of his fear toxin, and they're all pretty darn terrifying. There's one moment in the morgue where you open up the body bags containing your dead parents who guilt trip you. The boss battle with Scarecrow has you navigating a wreckage of a building, keeping out of sight from the nightmarish villain who has grown immensely in size. Another moment brings you back to the alleyway where Bruce Wayne's parents met their end, filled with screams and the sound of gunshots, culminating in you becoming the child version of Bruce, almost helpless as you walk through the darkness and face the scarecrow yet again. And lastly, after the game seemingly glitches, you find yourself trapped in another nightmare hallucination, in which you become the Joker, then Batman again, witnessing your death and coming back from the grave to face off against the villain one last time in the ruins of Arkham. Plus, the 
Scarecrow's aesthetic is also a whole lot to take in too, and definitely looks like he'd fit right in with the horror genre of games. And at number 4, The Last of Us, Ellie kills David. There's a lot of scary moments in The Last of Us. Literally every encounter with a clicker is borderline terrifying, especially in moments like fixing that generator towards the beginning of the game when they just rampage towards you unexpectedly. But they aren't the only things in the game that left us feeling anxious and afraid. Many humans in the world of The Last of Us are possibly even scarier than the infected with what they're willing to do to survive. One of those humans is David, a man you encounter in the winter chapter of the game when Joel is injured. David ends up going on a hunt to kill Ellie and Joel, with Ellie needing to find medicine in order to bring Joel back to good health. The winter chapter ends with Ellie fighting against David, which is nerve wracking enough as you navigate around a building engulfed in flames. But at one point towards the end, David gets on top of Ellie right before she murders him, implying that he may have tried to rape her. Joel arrives just as Ellie has killed David, quite brutally, with Joel trying to calm her down after the traumatic experience. And at number 3, Ocarina of Time, Dead Hand. Dead Hand is one of the mini bosses in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and it appears twice in the game, once in the Shadow Temple and once in arguably the creepiest level of the game, the bottom of the well. Dead Hand is a sluggish, blood covered ghostly creature that looks like a giant zombie head. It has several disembodied hands sticking out of the ground that try to grab hold of you so it can attack you. Essentially the hands attack its prey and hold it tightly while it slithers out to attempt to eat you. It's a terrifying boss battle. And many have theorized that the disembodied hands are actually from Dead Hand's previous victims, whose remains are buried in the ground beneath you. Moving on to number 2, Fallout 3's Andel Mystery. Being set in a post apocalyptic world, it should be no surprise that Bethesda's Fallout series has a wee bit of terror weaved into its narrative. Take a look at some of the foes that you encounter in the wasteland and try to claim that you have never been a little freaked out by some of the abominations lurking around the open world title. But perhaps one of the creepiest moments in the series comes from Fallout 3, courtesy of Andale, a place whose claim to fame is being the winner of the best town in the USA contest. After some investigating of the town, you'll understand why the claim was so suspicious. Andale is actually a haven for cannibals, and turns out that the citizens of the town have their eyes on you as their next meal. In order to avoid being someone's dinner, you have to accuse one of the people in the town of being a cannibal, which will force you to go around, kill everyone, and then escape for good. I guess it's better than getting eaten. And finally, in at number 1, Majora's Mask, The Moon Crash. Existential dread, anyone? <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask has been speculated to be a giant metaphor for the stages of grief. It's a title that contains a lot of dark imagery and an even darker subtext, with the ever lingering threat of the countdown of when the moon will collide with Termina. Regardless of whether you are unlucky to see the dreadful cutscene in which the moon crashes into Termina and destroys everything, or if you were just witness to the inevitable ticking countdown and the moon hovering above, needless to say, the whole experience is enough to make anyone feel unsettled, especially with the moon's expression being what it is. Those eyes Eyes, those teeth, it is nightmare fuel at best. It's also one of the most depressing possible endings to a game, with Link being engulfed by flames as the world is annihilated. Alright, there we have it, friends. What other titles can you think of outside of the horror genre that have some terrifying moments? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know. If you dug this video, spread the love, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more lists just like this one. In the meantime, though, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.